What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a new e-bike to review for you and this one is pretty amazing. This is the G-Force ZM. This is silver aluminum pro edition, a dual or single battery option available. If you get the single battery, it's $1,499. So yeah, this is a premium e-bike guys. I mean, it's got bright headlights, bright tail lights, brake lights. This thing has got it all. A 750 watt Bafang motor that's capable of 1300 peak watts output guys. You've got a 20 amp hour battery there and an optional 20 amp hour battery there. You can get this for $14.99 with a single battery and it's on sale because normally it's $19.99 or you can get the dual battery for $17.99. I'm going to tell you right now, highly recommend the dual battery option because with dual batteries, you're looking at 48 volts, 40 amp hours total, 750 watt Bafang motor capable of 1300 peak watt output, 160 millimeter rotors, hydraulic brakes by Logan, so name brand brakes, Shimano, shifter, derailleur, all of that good stuff, guys. Seven speeds. Listen, how's this for range? With the dual battery model, 120 to 160 miles, I'm not joking, 120 to 160 miles mile range if you go with the single battery option you'd be looking at one battery right there and you'd still be able to get around 60 to 80 miles maximum range now keep in mind maximum range means in the most ideal of conditions no wind flat roads probably five foot three rider that weighs 110 pounds soaking wet we're going to find out today how this thing is going to do because we're going to try to go somewhere between five and 10 miles. This is a full suspension fat tire e-bike fat tires, meaning you've got four inch wide fat tires. Recommended tire pressure on these is between 20 and 30 PSI. I currently have them set at 20 because, well, as you can see, rocky roads. Less inflation, the better for me. These are 20 inch tires. This is a 20 inch bike and it kind of resembles a motorcycle. This is a full suspension e-bike, meaning you've got your forks in the front, which are adjustable and lockouts. Okay, there's your compression settings and there's your lockout on that side. In the back, you have another shock absorber right there. This thing just looks good, guys. I'm, <laughs> I'm serious. It's a good looking bike. Hydraulic brakes, bright LED. That's a 48 volt LED projection headlight, guys. Take a look at this thing. I mean, <laughs> this whole bike is kind of a thing of beauty. It has a top speed of approximately 28 miles an hour. We're gonna try that out, but here's, here's the, guys, listen. 400 pound payload capacity, 400 pounds. Also, full color LED display up here. It's gonna be a little difficult to see. Let me turn off the, uh, the headlights. There we go. Hopefully that's a little easier to see. It's a cloudy day. It's relatively cool out. I've got a jacket on today, so we're really gonna put it to the test. I have currently put 1.3 miles on this bike. You got some buttons over here. This is your information. All right, if you push information, you'll see the screen change, average, trip, odometer, max, back to average. You've got a headlight button here. You just push it once and you'll see the screen dims. Push it again. There you go. When you push it, obviously the headlight and taillights come on. It's got a horn, which is a handy feature. It's, believe me, it's, it's plenty loud. You have your pedal assist modes up and down right here. It has five pedal assist modes. Five, four, three, two, one, and then zero. Zero meaning you're gonna pedal it yourself. Now, very important to note on bikes like this, there are power buttons for the batteries. And see this, I didn't even plug it. I didn't even close that up. You're gonna to wanna to make sure these are closed. All right, there's a power button right here. This will shut the bike off. Also down here, another power button to shut that battery off, okay? Pushing those buttons disables the battery. Now here's something kind of cool down here. You have a USB port. You know what that means? You could plug something in like, like your phone. Now this is an aftermarket phone holder that I have for my iPhone uh, 14, what's the newest one? 14, 15 Pro Max, I don't even remember guys, but this is, this is the newest iPhone, it fits in there perfectly and you just 
push that and there you go. This right here, this is the holder, the mount for my camera. So when we're riding, this will be the mount. Over here, this is a GPS, Bluetooth GPS device that will be able to overlay the speed, altitude, and all of that good stuff on the screen for you guys while we're riding. So don't take any of this stuff into consideration. That is not actually part of the bike. The seat, this thing is absolutely massive. I love this seat. Another thing down here on the battery, Look at this, a USB port, that's right. That means you have multiple access points for charging or powering devices. Now, I'm gonna turn these batteries back on because we are about to take this bike for a ride. Once you power the batteries on, you simply hold the power button, the display will light up, go through a preliminary test, and bingo, we're ready to roll. I'm gonna turn it all the way up to pedal assist five. We're gonna use mostly throttle. This is your throttle right here. See if I touch it, the bike tries to take off. There you go, shifting up and down right here, horn right here. It's very intuitive, very simple, easy to use. And they have a assembly manual and a user's manual, both online, very simple to access. I can't wait to get this thing on the road. Let's see how it handles the gravel. Then we'll take it on the streets and see what a top speed is and see how it does climbing a big hill. One thing I forgot to mention is the torque from that Bafang motor, 86 Newton meters of torque, guys. So that's something you may have wanted to know. Now let's get it on the road. Let's see how it does. Initial takeoff, not too torquey, nothing crazy. We're not burning rubber or anything, peeling out. It's handling this road just fine with the tires inflated to the minimum of 20 PSI. We're just gonna take it through some of this gravel. So far, this is a very smooth experience. I also forgot to mention it has cruise control. That's right, the bike has cruise control. You can disable cruise control by simply tapping the brakes and the cruise control will turn itself off. Going around corners, not too shabby. It's, it's holding its own very well on this gravel road. Um, those wide, fat tires, really good for absorbing a lot of shock, giving you good traction. Hydraulic brakes, I mean, wow. Okay, I didn't mean, I didn't actually mean to lock them up. I wasn't trying to do that. But yeah, she'll come to a stop, and when you wanna go, give it the beans and she'll take off. I'm gonna start pedaling, wow. <laughs> if, when I start pedaling, good lord. We're on gravel, man, slow down. Golly. This bike is no joke. This thing is hungry. <laughs> it is hungry. Yeah, okay. All right. It it gets it. Guys, if you've seen my videos, you've seen me do these reviews many times. You know that I typically try to keep it under 20 miles an hour on these uh, gravel roads, right? Uh, we're pushing almost 30. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slow her down a little bit there, guys. Wow. That's... Uh, that's impressive. So if it can do this good on gravel, I imagine once we get it onto the main road, it's going to do even better. Uh, this is more manageable. You know, right around 20 miles an hour is where I typically feel comfortable on these, uh, on these uh, gravel back roads here. Please excuse all the construction. They're building a bunch of new houses and uh, they're finishing them up, actually. They're bricking them in. These are, uh, these are pretty decent places. Kind of makes me wait. I wish I would have waited to have bought my house and I should have just bought one over here. All right, here's what I got to say. It's a comfortable ride, even on the gravel. Shock absorbers plus the tires are doing their jobs really well, really nicely. Easy peasy, man. No worries on gravel. And what, man. <laughs> You get this thing on a straightaway and it's a, it's a whole lot of fun. Yep, we might actually put 10 miles on this one, guys. This is one I think I, I, I could ride a little while today. It's a little bit nipply out, but uh, truthfully, this thing is a blast to drive. Let's try those brakes out again. Not bad at all. Now the seat is amazing. It's kind of like a banana seat from the old days on those old bikes. And that means you can kind of slide yourself wherever you want on it. It's very wide, it's very thick. It's a nice, comfortable seat, guys. This is something I really think I could probably ride for hours at a time without too much issue. Normally I'd be telling you how fast I'm going, but you should be able to see that on your screen right now. We're 30, wow. Okay. <laughs> 
31. Are you serious? We're not even going downhill, guys, and we're about to hit 32 miles an hour. 32. Are you serious? Okay. Hey, man. Uh, 33. <laughs> if you want a bike that likes to go, well, here it is. Wow. 34. We're going to hit 35. No way. 36. This is the fastest I think I've ever been on an e-bike. Oh, wow. That's pretty impressive, guys. <laughs> okay. Here's where it gets tricky. Going up this big incline, bikes tend to lose so much momentum going up these hills, and it really taxes the motors. But we're solid at 25 miles an hour. 25. And we're going to just pick it up from there, guys. Not a problem. 25 up that big hill. I was impressed with this bike the moment I saw it. The aesthetics alone just blew me out of the water because this does not look like your typical cheesy electric bike. You know, it's got a design, a style that resembles something like a dirt bike. When I saw it, I was like, man, this thing looks amazing. This is not a bike that I'd be embarrassed to ride around town. I'd ride this all day. And if you didn't know any better, you would think that's some kind of a motorcycle. Nope, it's an electric bike that has no issue going 30 miles an hour with cruise control. Cruise control, are you serious? This is almost too much, too much luxurious for me. Let's go off-road a little bit. It doesn't hurt. Oh, treat! Damn. How did I miss that? Okay. <laughs> I, I, I missed the tree. <laughs> it didn't miss me, though. All right, let's hit this corner right here. There we go. Lean this bike a little bit. It loves to lean. It feels very good going into corners. It's not sketchy at all. This thing handles amazingly well. Wow, we are just full throttling. Oh man, my hat. I lost my hat. Oh no. <laughs> you know you're going fast when your hat flies off, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn my hat backwards. Wow. Okay. We're gonna uh we're gonna put the hat on backwards so that, that doesn't happen again. Here we go. Let's let's get <laughs> it's not often the hat flies off, man, but when it does, you know you're making moves. There we go. Back on the road. Alright, we got a sharp curve coming up here. So I definitely want to be a little more careful going around this. Some gravel. There we go. Yeah. This thing just eats whatever you throw at it, man. Nice. It handled that like a boss. So I highly recommend, if you're going to get this bike, get the dual battery option. It's not that much more. And you want to know another great thing? They have financing available through uh, Klarna. You can split it up into several monthly payments. So you don't have to pay all that money up front out of pocket. You know, you could finance this if you wanted to. I'm not gonna lie, I finance a lot of stuff myself, especially toys, expensive toys. I got no problem financing stuff like that for, you know, six months, 12 months, whatever. So that's an option for uh, a lot of you out there. You don't have to pay all the money up front. Boy, this is a bumpy road, but let me tell you, between this amazing seat and the dual shock suspension, wow, and the hydraulic brakes, there's just, this bike is an absolute monster. It is. So here's what I'm gonna do. Normally I don't do this. I don't typically go 10 miles anymore. Um, I usually cut it down to five. And I'm not going to make you guys go with me for the whole thing, but I think what I'll do is I'll just speed the footage up. And uh, I'm going to set the cruise control at its maximum, like 30 mile an hour. There we go. And I'm just going to cruise. We're going to take this thing as close to 10 miles as I can get it today. Because this is an amazing bike, and it's something that I really... Oh, that was a huge bump. This is something that I really 
thoroughly enjoy riding and uh, I think it's worth a 10 mile run. Now keep in mind, I'm not pedaling. Very rarely am I actually pedaling on this bike. So I am making the motor do all the work. So we'll keep that in mind when we come back and see how the battery's doing. Remember we have two batteries. So even if we start to run one down, we still have another one. This is a huge hill right here. I mean, this is a, this is a massive hill and we're maintaining 23 miles an hour. I'm six foot tall, I'm 213 pounds, and we're maintaining 22 miles an hour up a really big hill, and I'm not pedaling. No pedaling at all. We're letting the motor do the work. Not bad. That was a big hill to be able to hold 20 miles an hour with me on this thing. And then back downhill we go. <laughs> We've already hit the five miles, guys. Come on now. Get, get, get. Move. Golly. Had to readjust you guys a little bit. I think I hit a few too many bumps there. All right. I'm going to let this thing do what it does. I'm going to cruise. And we'll come back. Hopefully when I've hit about 10 miles. there you have it ladies and gentlemen we went over 10 miles on this bike and it was easy to do i mean really easy to do normally i only go five miles typically four and a half five miles on these things and then i bring them back but this one was so much fun mainly because of how fast it goes this is not a bike that's going to limit you to riding 20 miles an hour most of the time that gets boring when you can go 30, 35 miles an hour, it changes the game. It makes the bike so much more fun to ride, not to mention the looks, the styling of this thing make it so much more enjoyable to be on. A lot of e-bikes look like e-bikes. You know, they're not very fancy. They look a little odd and people might point and laugh at you if you've got baskets or something. But this one right here, it just looks more like a motorcycle, like a motocross bike or something, a dirt bike, than an actual e-bike. And of course, you've got the two batteries that's gonna keep you going for really longer than you're gonna be able to ride, I think. One of the things I forgot to point out are the tires. They have these uh, stripes on them. Those aren't just decorative stripes. These are reflective. Has them on both sides, on both wheels, both tires, I should say. So when headlights or any type of light hits your tires at night, it's going to reflect so people can see you on top of the bright headlight. And then, of course, um, the, the bright brake light as well. And if I turn the lights on, you'll see you have a tail light here, even on the side, little side marker light there. And when you hit the brakes, you have a brake light and a tail light. So why don't we see how far we got? There we go, 10.7 miles. We took this bike almost 11 miles on one ride and it was crazy enjoyable. Not crazy torque, meaning when you turn the throttle, it doesn't just launch off on you. It's very smooth and it's very easy to get used to. The thing, even though it's a 20 inch bike, it's not a big 26 inch, I told you guys in the past, the 20 inchers are kind of my favorites. They take me back to when I was a kid because 20 inch bikes is what we all used to ride when we were young, the BMX style bikes. This thing is kind of like that. It handles great, it's nimble, the suspension works perfectly, the seat is huge and ridiculously comfortable, guys. The entire bike was a blast to ride. Now the big question, where's our battery? Well, here's our bars right here. And we have one, two, three, four, we have five bars. We are five bars out of five bars going 10.7 miles. So I can't even tell you the range because it is so good 
that we didn't use any battery at all going 10 miles. Now, you guys are probably gonna have a question about these batteries, and I'll be honest with you, I don't have the answer. You're probably wondering, is this just a storage compartment for the battery? And I don't know if this is just a storage location, and when this battery dies, you have to swap this one for this one? I don't know, I don't. I do know that the bike comes with keys, and in my case, I have too many. I have one, two, three, I have four keys, so I'm assuming five keys, no, four. I can't count today, guys. Four keys, um, I'm assuming, yeah, these are keyed differently. Uh, 2273 and 227 or 2231. So that means each battery is going to have a unique key. And if you look, if you wonder which key goes to what, it tells you right here at the top of the battery, this one is 2273. So my guess is that this is probably just a storage compartment for the spare battery. And when this one runs dead, you simply pop these both off, swap this one over, and you're good to go again. But I could be wrong. This one may actually be wired. I don't know. This one could be wired in, but I'm willing to bet that you have to swap them when they go dead. And this one just kind of holds the battery in place for you until you need it. Still, guys, absolutely amazing. Don't forget, USB port for charging, plugging stuff in. USB port for charging and plugging stuff in. It's a great bike. It's one of the best that I have ever reviewed, and that's no lie. This bike really got me, man. I did not expect to love it as much as I did, and now I hope you guys can love it as much as I do. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, this bike is on sale right now for $17.99. It's normally $24.99. $99. So it is on sale. And remember, if you qualify, you can get financed with Klarna as well. So you don't necessarily have to pay for the whole thing out of pocket. And like I said, highly recommend get the dual batteries. Just get them. That way you've got yourself anywhere from 120 to 160 miles of range. Now, truthfully, if you don't need it, then I guess there's no point. But it never hurts to have a spare battery sitting around. Even if you don't carry it with you, it'd be worth it, in my opinion, just to have the extra battery. But if you don't need the extra battery, the price goes down to $14.99. So take your pick, man. I just highly recommend you go check out this bike. By the way, this bike company did not pay me any money. G-Force, they didn't send me anything. They sent me the bike and they said, try it out if you like it. Great, and if you don't, well, that sucks. Well, I tried it out and I love it. I'm not getting any monetary compensation for this other than the fact that I got the bike. But I don't let that affect my decision on whether I'm gonna make a positive review or a negative review. If I ever get a bike that is just horrible, I'm gonna tell you guys that it's horrible. I'm definitely going to call them out on it but i just i cannot fault this bike it is definitely one of the most favorite e-bikes i have ever reviewed on the channel so far to date so i highly recommend you check the link below this video and go get one for yourself 14 day return policy i think you're really going to like it and i believe it has a one year warranty now real quick reviews are important because they'll tell you a lot about a company or a product so definitely go check the reviews out as well at the website i sent you guys they have 67 reviews 58 of those are five star reviews seven of them are four star reviews two of them are three star reviews and they have nothing less than a three star review on their website and in case you're wondering what it weighs it's approximately 85 pounds which really isn't that heavy for the amount of bike you're getting in this little form factor here guys it's a great bike i am six foot tall and i fit on it just fine i highly recommend you go check them out thank you to g-force for sending me their latest zm model bike i really enjoyed it i hope i can work with them again be sure to check their link out directly below this video till next time stay safe out there everybody i look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one